Hello everyone, welcome to a news video where I'm going to be recapping the latest news from Assassin's Creed Unity. So yeah, I hope you stick around for the rest of the video. The first section of Assassin's Creed Unity news I'm going to talk about is that the tro list of trophies slash achievements for the Xbox and PlayStation were released. Um, yeah, and you can tell now by the list that there's going to be 12 sequences, which is similar to the 13 sequences that we saw in the previous Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. However, the 13th sequence was a waste of time. It was just a cutscene, as I recall. Uh, so yeah, that's really good to know that there's 12 sequences. Hopefully there'll be 12 sequences that are like full missions of like, we'll say six missions in each sequence, which should be brilliant. Uh, I wouldn't mind if it was slightly less of that, but it'd be great if it had that much content. There's, I don't know, I think there's something like 13 hours uh, of the single player story content. Uh, yeah, and that's going to be the bulk of the game is going to be your single player uh, campaign content. It's going to be the, like the 13 hours, but obviously a lot of extra side missions and things. So the next thing I'm going to talk about briefly is pistols and rifles. They're going to be a big part in the game, as we can see in the next shot after this one, where you see pistols on the walls. Also, the character customization. You can customize your assassin Arno in the robes of Altair, Ezio and Connor and all the previous assassins. I'm not sure if Edward's in there. This is the case with the previous two Assassin's Creeds, where in 3 you had Altair and Ezio's outfit, and in 4 you had Connor, Ezio and Altair's costumes. Next I'm going to talk about the enemy AI. If you remember in the last games, enemy AI was pretty poor. They discover a body, and then they just go, what's this? And then they just walk away, like nothing ever happened. Well now they've all changed that, and when an enemy discovers a body, it's going to be actively looking... The enemies are going to be actively looking for you in the crowd, and if they don't find you, they're going to falsely accuse someone, and maybe a, cha a chase scene will develop. They haven't shown us anything about the chase scenes as of yet, but I'm guessing they're similar to the chase scenes in the previous games, where you just chased after someone, and you press B or O or whatever to, um, to tackle them. And what you see on screen now are the new puzzles in Assassin's Creed Unity. These are called Enigmas, and they will be... Similar to the puzzles we saw in Assassin's Creed 1 and 2. And uh, yeah, we don't know many details about them, but they look pretty cool. A little extra side thing to do, which I'm going to personally have a crack at and see how good I am at them. The next bit of Unity news we have recently found out is the four-player campaign will not be as good as the single-player or, well, two-player campaign. Like, it'll be, it'll be a more meaty campaign for two people playing rather than than three or four which I'm slightly disappointed with but then again I'll be playing most the bulk of the game by myself in the single player campaign so yeah that's all the news I wanted to discuss with you today about Assassin's Creed Unity Um, I'll just mention one more quick thing the combat system as you know is going to be a lot harder if you haven't heard that already it's going to be reminiscent to Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 and Brotherhood and uh, Really, up until 3, it was quite hard, and then they kind of just made it easy, just counter-kill, counter-kill, so that's going to be a lot harder. Um, yeah, so I hope you found this video very informative. If you have, it would be great if you could hit that like button, and also subscribe to my channel, and check out my other videos. I'll be covering more Assassin's Creed Unity very soon in the near future, and I'll be also doing a complete walkthrough, start to finish, of the game for you guys. So yeah. I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.